I'm a star. I bought a $500 Pokemon collection and I cannot wait to share it with all of you. This is the first time I've ever bought somebody else's Pokemon collection, so I'm really excited to see what kind of items they have. I'm pretty sure it will include other things, not just Pokemon cards, possibly toys, games, and whatever else, but we'll find out once we open the box. Don't forget that this week is the official release week of Obsidian Flame, and this Saturday, August the 12th at 9 p.m. Eastern Time, we will be breaking an Obsidian Flame booster box for all of you and all you have to do is join and subscribe and you'll have a chance at winning one of the booster packs now let's see what's in this collection all right so here we go okay so we got some stuff here let's let's remove the the rubbish here okay so we've got okay i was i was right there was definitely going to be toys so we've got some toys we got plushies and we've also got some some toys here okay so what do we got here we got oh pikachu this is a 20th anniversary pikachu figurine set this is actually pretty cool let's see the back here okay this is awesome okay a trainer's journey never ends explore the world of pokemon okay this is awesome so this is these are four golden pikachus that come in this this is pretty awesome i think this is pretty rare actually okay so that's the first item here what else do we got here we've got a uh charmander charmander in a pokeball that's pretty cool too i do not have one of these uh, I think they have a Bulbasaur one, maybe somewhere lying around, but not a Charmander one. So it looks like these are the, there's the Bulbasaur. Like I don't have that Bulbasaur, but that's pretty cool. Okay, so we got another toy here. Blast from the past. This toy is ancient. I'm pretty sure it's from a long time ago, actually. Let's see if the tags are on here. They're pretty worn out. I wouldn't be surprised if it was from like the early 2000s. Maybe it says it on the tag here somewhere. Tag is pretty messed up as well. Sorry, I wasn't sharing that with you guys. Here we go. The tag have a look at the tag here it looks like it's from 1998 whoa that is definitely a blast from the past okay so and then we've got this flareon okay I, i'm not sure this is from the pokemon center so this is more of a recent toy i'm not sure the year for for this one but um again a more recent uh toy here okay and then we've got this box which i'm assuming is Pokemon cards because it's quite heavy. I wouldn't be surprised if it's bulk. And then we've got, uh, okay, we've got some more Pokemon cards here. Oh, looks like we've got some, are they sealed? Yeah, they're sealed. Okay, so we've got some sealed booster packs here as well. We'll get into those as well. And okay, we've got a Brilliant Stars battle deck. Okay, not bad. Okay, that's pretty cool too. And then last but not least, we've got this. Okay, it says open last, so I'm not sure what it is. Maybe it's Pokemon cards, maybe it's slabs, we'll, we'll find out. And that looks like pretty much it for that box. So I think so far we've gone at least about a hundred bucks worth of our money. Again, mind you, I said $500, but 500 Canadian. So that's roughly about maybe 350, 400-ish USD. So we've gotten about a hundred, I think so far. Uh, in CAD with all those toys, maybe a 150 because I think that Pikachu and that Blast toys, uh, the Pikachu box with the with the collectibles were a little bit um, uh, older uh, as well as that Blast toy, so they may be worth a little bit more. But why don't we start off with maybe maybe we can start off with these over here. Looks like they're loose cards. Um, maybe they're rare, maybe they're not. Then we'll go into that box. I'm assuming that box is probably full of common and uncommon cards. But anyways, again, this is my first time buying a Pokemon collection and wow, that's a very good start. <laughs> Glaceon V-Star, this definitely brings us up. I, I would say at least another 30, 40 bucks here. That is a super card. Okay, uh, let's move on. I did Crown Zenith, right, for that one. And then we've got, okay, Zacian V. Uh, this one is, it was an Astral Radiance or um, maybe the one a little bit after Lost Origin. I can't remember what that one symbol was, but it's definitely from one of those sets. And it looks like it's a trainer gallery. Say maybe this one's about like five to 10 bucks probably. Uh, so again, not bad, not bad, okay. And then we've got a Mew, a golden Mew. That is pretty awesome. So it's a, it's a black and gold Mew. Uh, that's a pretty cool card as well to add to the collection. And last but not least, a Espeon V. Okay, and this one is from Evolving Skies. Say this one's maybe worth around five, 10 bucks as well. Maybe 15 if you're having a lucky day. So that is pretty cool so far. Okay, I don't know, but that that was pretty cool. That was pretty cool. So maybe that brings us up to about 200 bucks, I would say. Let's see here. So this one is um, going to, hopefully it's not a bunch of common uncommons, but it definitely looks like the case. So yeah, uh, let's see what else we got here. Okay, let's just take a random bunch here. Just quickly go through all of this. Yeah, it looks like these are all uncommon and commons from like many different sets. Look like that was a Halloween set actually. And then we've got um, 
a whole bunch here. Sneasel, we've got, uh, okay, yeah, so these are all uncommon. We'll do one more. We'll do one more little random pull here. You know, we're just sampling here. We're doing a little sample test. See what else is in there. Yeah, these are all uncommon and common, so let's move on. So nothing spectacular in that uh, box that we just uh, opened, but uh, that's okay. We still got the last, uh, open last box as well as a bunch of booster packs here so let's let's take a break from the sealed stuff and see what we've got here this is a pretty small collection uh not sure if he actually sold everything from his collection but wait, i shouldn't shuffle actually because this is a pretty new booster pack uh pretty new right uh looks like he even threw something in there because you know again value is pretty pretty high right 500 dollars cad so he's got to give some sealed stuff to kind of balance out okay and we got nothing there let's move on to the next one paldea evolved part two I guess that was Scar base at Scarlet and Violet. This is Paldea now. Um, I haven't had much luck with Paldea myself, but uh, again, you never know. It's hit and miss with these booster packs. So the booster packs, uh, and I think that bo that box as well, that probably gives us another 50 or so. So, I mean, we're, we're getting there. I think, you know, with those cards, I would say they're roughly around uh, nothing there as well. So I would, oh wait, did we? No, we didn't, we didn't miss anything there. Those cards uh, from that little uh, package that we had probably will go for maybe around, let's say, um, I'm gonna say maybe around a hundred bucks. Not too sure exactly, but um, that would bring us close to about 250. So it's not bad. Whoa, whoa, okay, look at this. This is not the the other one where, she, where she's eating, but that is pretty cool. So this is one of the rare cards from uh, Paldea Evolved. That's pretty cool. Okay, so looks like the, the booster packs are also hitting, uh, which is quite awesome. And other than that, it looks like it for this booster pack, but still such a great card, beautiful. Okay, well, what, is, what does that bring us up to? So I guess we were at around 250. That's That's gotta be at least 30, 40 bucks, no? So we got like 280. I know that's not the right way to be calculating, but you know what? We gotta count the hits, right? Okay, here we go. This is a Fusion Strike, and I think that was a white coat card, so I'm, I don't think we'll get anything, but we can just quickly go through this here. I'm pretty sure that was a white coat card, and I was right. There's a go, there's an Arcanine. All right, that's pretty cool. Okay. So, so far uh, with the loose packs, uh, there was about four of them there and we pulled our girl um, from Violet and Scarlet, Scarlet and Violet, right? Okay, now we're into this Brilliant Stars Build and Battle deck, which probably has, I believe it has four, yes, four packs. And we've got a little uh, beaver love there for the deck box, okay? So, and these are our four packs. Let's get into these. Brilliant Stars is one of my, um, was one of my favorite sets from the Sword and Shield era, including Evolving Skies. Evolving Skies number one. This was my second favorite one. I just realized there is no, um, there were no Evolving Skies in this, which is fine. I mean, it's not always going to be the case where you get Evolving Skies in mystery packs or collections. Usually collections don't really have too many sealed stuff in them. So this is quite a rare sighting. Mind you, it's my first one, so. Okay, we got Lucario and we've got some Penguin Love. Okay, nothing there. Here we go, pack number two. So we're going through these booster packs now, hoping to get another, okay, so that's not a good sign. Again, we've got, um, we may, okay, 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 there we go. So that's why you wait, because with Brilliant Stars, there's a trainer gallery available. That is a pretty cool hit. I'll add that to my list. And then we've got a uh, Heatran as well. So, okay, perfect. I think that brings me to what, like two? two that's like two bucks. We won't even count that one. So again, we're sitting around 280, 290. Thanks to our girl over there that really boosted it. Here we go, we got a Black Oat card, our first one. Let's see if we can get like a double hit or something here because we haven't gotten too much here. Too, not, well, again, I just said that that hit over, that Trainer Gallery card over there, that was pretty cool. Okay, here we go, Moltres Reverse Hollow and okay. Some more Bird Love, not bad. I think I have this one actually, I think I pulled it before. Okay, last Brilliant Stars pack of the day. And then we gotta go into that super box that says uh, last, open last. So, okay, white code card again. One, two, three, four, here we go. Okay, steel energy, Let's see what we're gonna get now. Last brilliant stars of the day. Most probably gonna get a trainer gallery if we're gonna get something, and we are not. Okay, so that's it for the booster packs. 
Time for the open last box. Okay, so let's open this up. Let me share with you guys quickly while I'm opening this. Okay, so it looks like we've got some more Pokemon cards here. Japanese Pokemon cards. Okay, that's exciting. And then we've got this envelope here. Okay, so let's start off with the Japanese cards. Let's see what we're going to get here with these. Okay. Oh, that's pretty cool. Erica's Bellsprout, Japanese version. So these are from the, the Gym Hero Gym Challenge series way back. That's a pretty cool start. Uh, let's see what else we're gonna get with this. Okay, so then, okay. This is different. Erica's Bulbasaur, is this the one from the Cora Cora magazine? Cause it, it looks like it has the same thing over here, but I don't know. It looks different. It says no one. It could be from, from from that set as well, I don't know. But I think that the Bulbasaur looked a little bit different from um, the Gym Heroes and Gym Challenge series in, in the English version. So I don't know, but this card is pretty rare. I don't know. <laughs> I think it's pretty rare, at least. Uh, that's sweet hit. Okay, let's let's move on here. We've got Erica's Vileplume. This guy really likes Erica. Okay, so we've got Erica's Vileplume holographic here, also from Gym Challenge. Then we've got Erica's Dragonair. That is pretty sweet. So I actually don't have any of these cards with the exception of, I'm, I'm gonna say I have the Bellsprout somewhere around here, but uh, this is so cool so far, actually. This, this Dragonair is pretty awesome as well. Then we've got, okay, we've got Erica, the, the, gym, cha the gym challenger, the gym trainer card, I should say. Uh, I don't have this card in English or in Japanese, so that is a pretty cool add-on as well. I do have a couple of the other gym trainers, like we have a Giovanni, I know I have, um, I think I may have a Sabrina, uh, and maybe like one or two other ones, but I don't have an Erica, that is pretty sweet. And then, of course, I mean, this was got this had to happen. I mean, if you're going through all the area cards and you don't have Erica's Venusaur in there, then really and truly, is it is it a complete set of Erica's Pokemon cards? I don't know, but that is that's pretty stunning. I'm not gonna lie. And the condition on this is actually pretty cool as well. Let's have a look at this. Let's have a look here. Let's take it out of the sleeve. I think this is in pretty good condition. Maybe a little whiting there. I mean, like this card is like 20 years old, so. The, the expectations should be a little bit low here. The hollow part of it is pretty good as well. I, I think this is a pretty good condition card. You wanna get it graded, right? Why not? So that is it for the cards. Well, I mean, depends on what's in this thing. So we're gonna find out here what goes in this bad boy. Okay, so. Whoa, what is, is this a game? This is the, this is the grass, the grass. This is the green version from the Japanese series. Holy crap, this is awesome. Is there actually a game in this or is it just the um, the box? Cause I mean, I know that kind of, oh, there is a game, okay. That's pretty much everything in it. So we've got the books here from like way back. We got the map, we got the town map in, oh my goodness, in like mint condition. Check this out. This, okay, this by far is probably the best thing in the box. Uh, in my opinion so far. So this is the map of Kanto. Oh man, memories, look at this. Look at this, there you go. You've got Pallet Town over here, a little Viridian City. Then, you know, you go through the Viridian Forest. You got Pewter City, of course, that's uh, Victory Road in the Pokemon League. Uh, you got Met Moon, then you've got Cerulean City, Bill's House just hanging out there. And then you got the Rock Tunnel, Lavender. Uh, you got Saffron, Celadon, and then you've got uh, I believe that's Vermilion over there, and then you've got a oh there it is okay future with the Safari Zone, and then I think that's pretty much uh, more or less it. Of course, the islands at the bottom here, Seafoam Island, as well as um, that's Cinnabar Island. That's awesome. So that is sweet. This is a sweet map in almost mint condition too. I mean, it's just literally full. I don't think the person ever like opened this. This is sweet. Okay, and then we got the book, of course, the the user manual which is in also sweet condition. I don't know what these go for, but I mean like the English Pokemon games in a condition like this would probably go for, I would say a few hundred bucks. But I mean, again, the Japanese ones I don't think are worth that much, but this is spectacular and definitely going up on the wall. I wonder if the game actually works. Let's check it out. Okay, I have a Game Boy somewhere around here. We're gonna test this out. Let's, let's test this out. Okay, see what's gonna happen here. Yeah, this is one of my Old school Game Boys. Okay, that, that's good. You know, first time's the charm here, I guess, Nintendo. Okay, this is probably gonna be all in like Japanese, but, uh, oh, it's in English. Oh, 
There we go. It is in Japanese. Okay, green version, Bulbasaur, and then the trainer. Yeah, this is all in Japanese. I have no idea what I'm clicking here. Continue. I don't know if that like is just a saved file. Yeah, it looks like it's just a saved file. We've got nothing in there. We've got, we don't have any Pokemon, but it's literally the same game and it has, the save file does work as well. That, that's music to my ears. Well, everyone, I think that was a very interesting episode and I think it was worth it based on what we've gotten so far. Let me know in the comment section below if you think that this was worth 500 bucks or not. And don't forget to like and subscribe. We will see you all on Saturday, August the 12th at 9 p.m. Eastern time for the Obsidian Flame box break.